The first thing we want to do is see what doors are already loaded in our project and then look and see what doors are available. Blocks in Revit are called families. From the Architecture tab, choose Door. Now from the Properties panel, click the down arrow. It looks like we have some double glass, single flush, raised panel with side lights and some sliding closet doors. To load more doors, click on the Load Family from the Mode area on the top panel. Next, choose the Doors folder. Let's open up the Residential folder. As I click on a door, it will show a preview in the corner. Choose the 6-panel wood door and open it. I am going to load some of the 6-foot-8 doors. Click on the 2-foot door and hold the Shift key down and go down to the 3-foot door and click on it. They should all highlight and click OK. Now when I go to the Properties area, all the 6-foot-8 doors are available. Other doors I need in my project are the garage embossed panel, the double sliding, and the single pocket doors. You are welcome to load as many doors as you would like. Next, we want to modify a door. Let's look at the garage door we just loaded. Notice it is a 96 by 84 and a 192 by 84, which is an 8 foot and a 16 foot door. I want to modify it to an 18 foot by 8 foot door. Let's start with the 192 and then select Edit Type. Just like with the walls, let's duplicate it and give it a new name. I'm going to name it 18 foot by 8 foot garage. Now change the width to 18 feet and the height to 8 feet. We can modify the properties on any door by duplicating it, followed by manipulating the width and height of the doors.